자 오늘 할 게임은 다곤 이라는 스팀 게임이고요 게임의 스토리는 전 우수 항해사이자 몰핀 중독자가 되어 마약에 찌든 인간 내면에 펼쳐진 어두운 시면 속으로 뛰어드세요 으스스하고 머나먼 섬에서 차마 입에 담을 수 없는 물속의 공포를 밝히며 러브크래프트식 공포 속으로 빠져드세요 라고 하는데 이 게임이 그 유명 소설 작가 러브크래프트 소설 기반으로 만들었다고 하는데 어떤 게임일지 플레이해 보도록 하겠습니다 스타트 스토리와 분위기에 초점을 맞춰 아 원작 형식을 충실하게 각색한 게임이래 어려운 선택을 강요받거나 행동 순서나 보관함을 관리할 필요도 없으며 게임 내의 이동은 간단히 주어진 이야기에 따라 각 장소를 옮겨가는 선에서 이루어집니다 음, 확인 I am writing this under 어, an appreciable mental strain. 아, Since by tonight, I shall be no more. 게임을 진행하다 보면 상호작용 요소. 상호작용을 클릭하면은 단편 소설과 역사적 배경, 작가에 대한 흥미로운 사실. Elder Sign. 현지에 관한은 내가 쓰는 행, 내용은 특별할 거야. 난 대화에서 같은 주제를 말하는 것만큼 빠르고 쉽게 쓸수 있지. 실제로 신경세약 증세가 점점 심해지면서 대화 대신 편지로 대부분의 표현을 대체하고 있지. 지금 이 글을 읽는 와중에도 머릿속은 하고 싶은 말로 넘쳐나고 이분 객석을 지키는 관중처럼 침묵을 지키고 있다네. 음... 러브크래프트가 라인하르트한테 보낸 편지를 평생 동안 자신의 친구와 팬을 대상으로 약 10만 통 오늘날 남겨진 것은 그중 10%에 불과하다 어쨌든 러브크래프트는 우편대금 문제로 종종 끼니도 걸어곤 했다고 평생을 글에 바쳤나 보네 아 나중에 확인도 가능하대 진행이나 스토리 감상에 방해가 된다면 참고 지식 발견 시 내용 표시를 꺼달라 아 끌까? 어떡할까? 러브크래프트 팬이라면은 뭐다 참고하는 게 맞긴 하겠지만 게임 진행이나 스토리 감상에 방해가 된다면 꺼달라고? <웃음> 어떡하지? 아니면은 이거를 다 찾고서 러브크래프트에 대한 얘기가 너무 나온다 싶으면은 아 그냥 대충 확인 눌러서 넘어가고 나중에 게임 끝날 때한 번에 모아서 보자 음. 음 오케이 뭐야 Penniless, and at the end of my supply of the drug which alone makes life endurable, I can bear the torture no longer, and shall cast myself from this garret window into the squalid street below. 일단은 몸은 못 움직여. Do not think from my slavery to morphine that I am a weakling or a degenerate. When you have read these hastily scrawled pages, you may guess. Though never fully realize why it is that I must have forgetfulness or death. It was in one of the most open and least frequented parts of the broad Pacific that the packet of which I was supercargo fell a victim to the German sea raider. 저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저저
Never a competent navigator, I could only guess vaguely by the sun and stars that I was somewhat south of the equator. 이 별자리 보고 갈수 있대잖아. 지금 이렇게 크게 빛나는 게 별자리인가 본데? Of the longitude, I knew nothing, and no island or coastline was in sight. 그냥 망망대해에 나만 지금 떨어져 있네. The weather kept fair, and for uncounted days I drifted aimlessly beneath the scorching sun, waiting either for some passing ship or to be cast on the shores of some habitable land. 물도 떨어져 가는 거 아니야? But neither ship nor land appeared, and I began to despair in my solitude. Upon the heaving vastness of unbroken blue, the change happened whilst I slept. Its details I shall never know. For my slumber, though troubled and dream-infested, was continuous. What? Eh? Why cracking you? 미친. When at last I awoke, it was to discover myself half sucked into a slimy expanse of hellish black mire, which extended about me in monotonous undulations as far as I could see. 아니 여기 막 움직이고 있어 배도. And in which my boat lay grounded some distance away. Though one might well imagine that my first sensation would be of wonder. At so prodigious and unexpected a transformation of scenery, I was in reality more horrified than astonished. Mm. For there was in the air and in the rotting soil a sinister quality which chilled me to the very core. The region was putrid oh. with the carcasses of decaying fish and of other less describable things which I saw protruding from the nasty mud of the unending plain. 뭐 문어도 있고 여기 보면은. 암모나이트도 있고 Perhaps I should not hope to convey in mere words the unutterable hideousness that can dwell in absolute silence and barren immensity. There was nothing within hearing and nothing in sight save a vast reach of black slime. Yet the very completeness of the stillness and the homogeneity of the landscape oppressed me with a nauseating fear. The sun was blazing down from a sky which seemed to me almost black in its cloudless cruelty, as though reflecting the inky marsh beneath my feet. As I crawled into the stranded boat, I realized that only one theory could explain my position. Through some unprecedented volcanic upheaval, A portion of the ocean floor must have been thrown to the surface, exposing regions for which innumerable millions of years had lain hidden under the water. So great was the extent of the new land which had risen beneath me that I could not detect the faintest noise of the surging ocean, straining my ears as I might. Nor were there any sea fowl to prey upon the dead things. 생선 먹죠. 생선먹죠. Preparatory to an overland journey in search of the vanished sea, a possible rescue. 결국 걸어가려고 나봐. On the third morning, I found the soil dry enough to walk upon with ease. The odor of the fish was maddening, but I was too much concerned with graver things to mind so slight an evil, and set out boldly for an unknown goal.
All oh, day shit. I forged steadily westward, Wait. guided by a faraway hummock which rose higher than any other elevation on the rolling desert. That night I encamped, and on the following day still traveled toward the hummock, though that object seemed scarcely nearer than when I had first espied it. By the fourth evening, I attained the base of the mound, which turned out to be much higher than it had appeared. An intervening valley setting it out in sharper relief from the general surface. Too weary to ascend, I slept in the shadow of the hill. I know not why my dreams were so wild that night. But ere the waning and fantastically gibbous moon had risen far above the eastern plain, I was awake in a cold perspiration, determined to sleep no more. Such visions as I had experienced were mm. too much for me to endure again, and in the glow of the moon I saw how unwise I had been to travel by day. Without the glare of the parching sun, my journey would have cost me less energy. Indeed, I now felt quite able to perform the ascent which had deterred me at sunset. Picking up my pack, I started for the crest of the eminence. Lovecraft는 항상 미지의 공포가 가장 무서운 공포다라고 얘기했던 소설가죠. 약간 좀 해저의 미지에 대한 그런 공포심이 있는 건가 봐. I have said that the unbroken monotony of the rolling plain was a source of vague horror to me. But I think my horror was greater when I gained the summit of the mound and looked down the other side into an immeasurable pit or canyon, whose black recesses the moon had not yet soared high enough to illumine. Oh. I felt myself on the edge of the world, peering over the rim into a fathomless chaos of eternal night. Through my terror ran curious reminiscences of Paradise Lost and of Satan's hideous climb through the unfashioned realms of darkness. As the moon climbed higher in the sky, I began to see that the slopes of the valley were not quite so perpendicular as I had imagined. Ledges and outcroppings of rock afforded fairly easy footholds for a descent. Whilst after a drop of only a few hundred feet, the declivity became very gradual. Urged on by an impulse which I cannot definitely analyze, I scrambled with difficulty down the rocks and stood on the gentler slope beneath, gazing into the Stygian deeps where no light had yet penetrated. All at once, my attention was captured by a vast and singular object on the opposite slope, which rose steeply about a hundred yards ahead of me. An object that gleamed whitely in the newly bestowed rays of the ascending moon. That it was merely a gigantic piece of stone, I soon assured myself. But I was conscious of a distinct impression that its contour and position were not altogether the work of nature. A closer scrutiny filled me with sensations I cannot express. For despite its enormous magnitude and its position in an abyss which had yawned at the bottom of the sea since the world was young, I perceived beyond a doubt that the strange oh, no, object was a well-shaped monolith whose massive bulk had known the workmanship and perhaps the worship of living and thinking creatures. Dazed and frightened, yet not without a certain thrill of the scientist's or archaeologist's delight, I examined my surroundings more closely. 
엄청 큰가 본데. The moon, now near the zenith, shone weirdly and vividly above the towering steeps that hemmed in the chasm. And revealed the fact that a far-flung body of water flowed to the bottom, winding out of sight in both directions, and almost lapping my feet as I stood on the slope. Across the chasm, the wavelets washed the base of the Cyclopean monolith, on whose surface I could now trace both inscriptions and crude sculptures. Writing was in a system of hieroglyphics unknown to me and unlike anything I'd ever seen in books. 뭔가 해양 생물들이 잔뜩 있고 중앙에 신 같은 게 있어. Consisting for the most part of conventionalized aquatic symbols such as fishes, eels, octopi, crustaceans, mollusks, whales and the like. Several characters obviously represented marine things which are unknown to the modern world. But whose decomposing forms I had observed on the ocean risen plain. It was the pictorial carving, however, that did most to hold me spellbound. Storytelling 방법. Nagon. Nagon is good. Nagon is Lovecraft's Huggy Jack Pong's Gabalton. Sumer and Jujia Storytelling 방식을 지니고 있다. 아 조각을 통한 이야기 전달. 이기장 등장인들의 수기 바다 위로 떠오르는 섬. 음. 결말을 이야기하면 재미가 떨어지니 다시 아 오케이. Plainly visible across the intervening water, on account of their enormous size, were an array of bas reliefs whose subjects would have excited the envy of a Dore. I think that these things were supposed to depict men, at least a certain sort of men. Though the creatures were shown disporting like fishes in the waters of some marine grotto, or paying homage at some monolithic shrine, which appeared to be under the waves as well. Of their faces and forms, I dare not speak in detail, for the mere remembrance makes me grow faint. Grotesque beyond the imagination of a Poe or a Bulwer. They were damnably human in general outline, despite webbed hands and feet, shockingly wide and flabby lips, glassy, bulging eyes, and other features less pleasant to recall. Curiously enough, they seem to have been chiseled badly out of proportion with their scenic background. For one of the creatures was shown in the act of killing a whale. Represented as much larger than himself, I remarked, as I say, their grotesqueness and strange size. But in a moment, decided that they were merely the imaginary gods of some primitive fishing or seafaring tribe. Some tribe whose last descendant had perished eras before the first ancestor of the Piltdown or Neanderthal man was born. Awestruck at this unexpected glimpse into a past beyond the conception of the most daring anthropologist, I stood musing whilst the moon cast queer reflections on the silent channel before me. Then, suddenly, I saw it. With only a slight churning to mark its rise to the surface, the thing slid into view above the dark waters. It darted like a stupendous monster of nightmares to the monolith, about which it flung its gigantic scaly arms, while it bowed its hideous head and gave vent to certain measured sounds. I think I went mad then. Of my frantic ascent of the slope and cliff, and of my delirious journey back to the stranded boat, I remember little. Ulaga, Lon. I believe I sang a great deal and laughed oddly when I was unable to sing. Kimia, Usun, Suri, Lita. Lon, Umaga. 
I have one. indistinct recollections of a great storm sometime Cure. after I reach the boat. At any rate, I know that I heard bells of thunder and other tones which nature utters only in her wildest moods. When I came out of the shadows, I was oh. in a San Francisco hospital. Brought thither by the captain of the American ship which had picked up my boat in mid-ocean. In my delirium, I had said much, but found that my words had been given scant attention. Of any land upheaval in the Pacific, my rescuers knew nothing. Nor did I deem it necessary to insist upon a thing which I knew they could not believe. Once I sought out a celebrated ethnologist and amused him with peculiar questions regarding the ancient Philistine legend of Dagon, the fish god. Dagon, 또는 다가는 불레셋 사람들이 섬기는 주신으로 풍요와 장물, 히브리어로 다가는 곡물을 의미하는 일반 명사. 관장하는 고대 신으로 중동 지역을 숭배받 어, 숭배를 받은 신이다. 아카드의 통치자들은 다곤을 정쟁과 정복의 수호신으로 여기기도 했다. 뭔가 여기저기에서 좀 많이 나왔던 신인가 보네. 지옥의 간수로도 표현이 되기도 하고. 잘못 해석해서 물고기의 신으로도 오해받곤 한다. 여기서 쓴 거는 깊은 존재를 다스리는 해저신. 저렇게 또 보면 엄청 크네. 뭐야? 뭐딴거 없어? 아. 소음 perceiving that he was hopelessly conventional, I did not press my inquiries. 어거스토 델라스와 쿠툴루 신화. 이것도 나중에. 또딴 건? 판매원. 아 이거 뒤로. 또 없나? 거의 러브크래프트 알아가기 위해 온 거네. It is at night, especially when the moon is gibbous and waning, that I see the thing. I tried morphine, mm. but the drug has given only transient surcease and has drawn me into its clutches as a hopeless slave. 그때 약간 좀 충격으로 약에 쩔어 사나 봐. So now I am to end it all, having written a full account for the information. Or the contemptuous amusement of my fellow men. Often, I ask myself if it could not all have been a pure phantasm, a mere freak of fever, as I lay sunstricken and raving in the open boat after my escape from the German man of war. This I ask myself, but ever does there come before me a hideously vivid vision in reply. I cannot think of the deep sea without shuddering at the nameless things that may at this very moment be crawling and floundering on its slimy bed. 
worshipping their ancient stone idols, carving their own detestable likenesses on submarine obelisks of water-soaked granite. I dream of a day when they may rise above the billows to drag down into their reeking talons the remnants of puny, exhausted mankind. Of a day when the land shall sink and the dark ocean shall ascend amidst universal pandemonium. It shall not find me. What's up? God, that hand. The window. The window. Yak